The second component of the third year practical and a standard technique required for all third years is the two-handed square knot. We'll start for right-handers. The short end of your rope will be above the wound and will be in your right hand. The long end of the rope will be below the wound and in your left hand. You will grab the left rope with the palm of your left hand, drape the rope over the, over the back of your thumb from right to left, right to left. Use the short end of the rope to drape over from left to right. So you'll drape the short end from left to right over the back of your thumb, creating an X. You'll then pinch your thumb and index finger together, rotate your wrist or your pinched fingers towards you, release, pinch the short end, rotate away from you so the short end goes through the loop away from you. Regrab with your right hand, and this is an important step, you will rotate your hands or cross your hands so that you will pull the short end towards you for the first throw, using the index finger of your right hand to maintain a tight, secure knot all the way down. The next throw, you'll keep tension and keep tight with your left hand. You'll have the drape the long end from right to left from top to the bottom of your index finger. You'll then use a short end to drape over from right to left from bottom to top this time to create your X from bottom to top. You pinch your thumb and index finger together, rotate away from you, release, pinch, and rotate towards you this time. Regrab with your right hand the short end and for the second throw you'll be pulling away from you the short end using the index finger of your left hand to cinch down and secure your knot. This will complete your first square knot throw. As you can see, you must visualize and see this first square knot before moving on to additional throws. To visualize some standard errors to avoid, first, the air knot is caused by a lack of securing or pushing down your knot. You can pull like this without using your index finger to secure the knot, and then your second throw will come through, and if you pull too gently or don't tighten it down, you'll get space or a gap between your knot. And with that gap in place, if you then throw your next knot, you will lock in that air into that one knot and that will be dangerous. So you want to make sure that when you do tie your knot, that you use your index finger to cinch it down tight. The second standard error is a slip knot instead of a square knot. Slip knots are caused when you maintain or pull the ropes after you do a throw upwards as opposed to pulling and tightening perpendicular and horizontal to the wound. So if you start with your thumb and you do everything perfectly fine, but you pull upwards you pull down, you, your knot will rotate on itself and when you push down, it'll slip. Then you do your second throw, same kind of, feel, same kind of thing where you pull straight up or straight down and the knot will rotate on itself and when you cinch down, you'll have a slip knot. And this is incorrect when trying to do a square knot. There are a few instances where you do use slip knots, but that is in special cases.